Do you believe that race was a factor in why George Zimmerman zeroed in on, on Trayvon? Hmm. I'll be lying if I said yes. So I'm going to say this, no. I really don't think it was Zimmerman don't like black people or he picked him out because he was black. Did he profile him with the hoodie and stuff like that as old, this um, thug or whatever walking or whatever was in Zimmerman's mind? Yes, but to say that he targeted him because he was black, no. I don't, I don't think so. And just to be clear, the, the complex where Trayvon got killed, mm -hmm. that's the complex, that's not where you were living no. with, with Trayvon's father, that's where Trayvon's father had gone with this other woman. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you want people to know? I'm here with you to let people know I exist. And I will not sit back anymore and take the lies that's out there being told. I'm the one that went to them football games. I'm the one was there when he was sick. I mean, every time he got sick, if he wasn't at our home, we had to go pick, Tracy picked him up and brought him back to our home to, 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 to make him better. He wanted, I want people to know that he wanted to live with me and his father. He didn't, are you saying he didn't have much of a relationship with his biological No, mother? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that he didn't have a relationship with her. What kind of relationship that they had, I don't know. And being with Trayvon, Trayvon didn't speak of his mother a lot, okay? I didn't speak towards his mother in no way, in no fashion. Never want, and, and I want her to know too, that I never tried to take her place, never. It's gotta be so hard to, to have raised this, this child, young man, mm -hmm. have, have him lose his life and to, to feel like all of that has been forgotten or oh, yeah. ignored yeah it, it, it to be alone with that grief it, yes it, it was devastating to know that a, a child you raised helped raise and and in death you mean nothing but when he was alive I was his stepmother but in death I'm not his stepmother I don't love him because he's he he, he done passed that's unbelievable and I couldn't believe that these people was doing this. I mean, get in where I fit in, in the funeral. I can't sit on the front row to, at my son's funeral to, to see him off home. That hurts me. That's the most painful thing that they have done to me. You weren't allowed to sit at the front row? No, no, no. I had to sit in where I fit in you know, to say them things to me and think it's okay. That wasn't okay. And if George Zimmerman is found not guilty? If, if he's not found guilty, it, it's, it's gonna be heartbreaking because I truly believe that Zimmerman, he killed my son. And I don't think that if Zimmerman wouldn't have got out of the car, I guess you can say people saying, oh, that wasn't a crime because he got out of his car. And that's true enough, it wasn't. But to take out your gun and shoot him dead like that, I mean, it, it, would, be, it would be unbelievable if he get off. But if he do, I can really say in my heart that God will take care of all of that. You, put, you know, just put it in God's hand. Well, thank you for talking to us. You're welcome.